Hello, welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, we will be covering the arrival ahead functionalities as part of the move command. Now, using arrival ahead can help you and your manipulators save a lot of time and become much more efficient. Now, there are three main types of arrival heads. Distance, time, and blend radius. Distance and time are used um, only with move joint, while blend radius can be used with any sort of move commands. So let's start off with distance. So let's just do a quick run of this uh, trajectory before we uh, use any arrival heads just to get an idea of what this looks like. So as you can see, this is the trajectory with all three points as move joints. Now, let's add a arrival head distance to the middle point of 0 0.15. Meaning that um, it will the robot will stop 0 0.15 meters before actually reaching this waypoint and directly go to travel to the third waypoint. Make sure you save the arrival ahead after you make the changes. And as you can see here, because of the arrival head, it doesn't completely reach the waypoint number two, but instead it basically curves it and directly goes from waypoint number one to this intermediary point and point three. And note that at these uh, at the corners, the robot actually stops and then restarts again. However, because we added this arrival ahead, it doesn't actually stop at this waypoint number two. It kind of slows down but con con continues to travel. And this is what improves the efficiency by a lot. So we won't cover uh, time uh, in depth because this is basically the same thing as distance. So well, let's, let's take a look at blend radius. So let's do it with move line. So let's see the trajectory once again without any arrival ahead commands. So all the, of these are move lines. And there you go. As you can see, the basic trajectory with all the move lines is just a triangle. And once again, note that the robot is stopping completely at every single waypoint and then starting back up again. So now let's add a arrival ahead blend radius. And you can set the radius of these things. However, note that the, the radius cannot be actually bigger than the actual move itself, or else it, it will fail. Same goes with the distance. If the arrival head distance is longer than actual trajectory, then it won't work. So let's say we set it to 0 0.045 meters. So now let's see what this looks like. As you can see here, the trajectory, the, the, the radius that we set is very small. So as a result, you can't, it's very difficult to see. However, you can note that the robot doesn't really stop anymore at this point. It basically just does a very quick, uh, it slows down and then speeds up very fast, much faster than at these corners. So now we can experiment with increasing this radius. Let's say we move this to 0 0.9 or just 0 0.1 meters. Now, as you can see here, you can see the radius much better. And once again, note that it doesn't stop at this waypoint anymore. It just kind of uh, goes around the, the radius that it blended without fully stopping. And again, this is very commonly used to improve the efficiency of the overall workflow and, and manipulator. And there we go. That's all the basics you need to know for arrival ahead.